The time is right to elect the president of the American Psychological Association from outside of traditional governance. I've been a member of the APA for 35 years, but have never held elective office and have not been part of APA politics or governing activities. In essence, I have been like you. The time is now to tap into this group who is passionate about the future of psychology, but have allowed others, often the same people over and over again, to assume leadership roles. But where has this gotten us? Those times are over. I am the only candidate for president who is both a lawyer and a psychologist. During these recent difficult times, a president with knowledge of the law and a strong allegiance to ethical and legal principles affecting our profession is necessary. I am that person. The past three presidents of the United States have worked towards achieving mental health parity. As your president, I would do the same. I would bridge the gap of admitting privileges, pay scales, and prescription privileges for qualified psychologists in every state. I will work toward making this effort historic in my tenure. Psychological corruption and the use of torture in military facilities must be excised from our association immediately. As president, I will appoint a special advisor who will address these issues, as well as discriminatory activities such as racial profiling. As the only candidate with a military and police psychology background, I am uniquely qualified in these areas. In light of recent events, I furthermore intend to create a division of human rights within APA reporting directly to the President. I will furthermore address the proliferation of hate crimes and the emergence of homegrown terrorism in the United States. Psychology is in a unique position to address these issues, and I am in a unique position to direct this effort. Other candidates for the Office of President are silent on these issues and are standing still in these efforts. I think we're ready to move.